Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is season 16, episode four of Joan of Arc. I'm just doing a quick flyby. We've got the Devil of Avignon from the Unleash Hell expansion and the Archangel Gabriel facing off against him. You can see his foot on this ruined the tower looming above the Archangel and the board. We've got the troops of the Holy Army. There are Italian um, reinforcements from Cola de Rienzo coming in. We've got our mounted knights uh, we've got the Pope inside of this building. He's escaped. Pope Clement VI has escaped there. And we've got unholy forces and wolves coming in to attack on the village. Let's jump into round four. I'll just get this remounted up at the top here. And we can continue the gameplay. So, yeah, interesting round three. Devil took some damage. It's going to clear out some of these tokens. We've got the Angel activated for this round. We use a couple of Intrigues, and we're going to jump right into round four. Before we do, quick shout out to this channel's sponsor, Pontos Fathom Press. The Disclosure from the Necronomicon, Volumes 1, 2, and 3, Necromancy of Nyarlathotep, Alchemy of Azathoth, Hermeticism of Hastor. Go check out the bookstore in the links below. Uh, it helps to support the channel, and also you get some cool books uh, that you can browse from in our store. You can also check out our Patreon, and for as little as a dollar, you can check out the upcoming Catu uh, Journal's Omnibus first chapter, Genealogy of Cthulhu, available there for as little as a dollar to read in digital form. And also you can stay on top of our Song of Ice and Fire miniature painting and gameplay. Uh, more miniatures coming for Joan of Arc. And uh, check out the other books that we've got in podcasts on that channel. So as usual, thanks to all our Patreons, thanks to our subscribers for helping to grow the channel. Let's jump into round number four. So first off, we're going to uh, get our activations for each. And we'll also grab our War Council. So we can actually each take a charge. Okay, we're going to start off with the Holy Player. I'm definitely going to activate... Um, um, let's activate... Sorry. Let's do a charge for these forces. We'll have a charge for our... Um, uh, Italian reinforcements. We'll also activate here and let's activate these men at arms to go down to engage here and obviously we'll engage our culverin again and that will leave us still with one extra two extra activations. So let's go ahead and start with um, let's do actually let's take this one more activation we will activate the bowmen and these mounted knights. So mounted knights and the bowmen uh, they can attack against the devil. Uh, that'll be four versus the standing two black shield. Uh, that shield, 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 shield. That's all blocked. The um, charge. Let's have all of these forces come down to charge as well. So we'll mount the charge here. And let's kind of go through some of these special characters we've got. I'm going to leave these halberdiers behind to fight these heretics. Uh, we'll have the crossbowmen going against the uh, holy one here, as well as the mounted um, bowmen. So there's our two standing black uh, defense. And we get one wound from our crossbowman that manages to get through, bringing him down to eight. Uh, Next up, the uh, Archangel Gabriel uh, scores a point as well. And uh, uh, let's move to our um, Halberdiers attacking the Halberdiers attacking the Heretics. And they are able to, again, send the heretics back to the infirmary. 
and we'll check on them in a bit. And then lastly, our foot knights, they will go against the demonic legions. Let's see what they can do. Foot knights against demonic legions. Uh, they're able to send two demonic legions to the infirmary. So it's looking good for them. Uh, let's go ahead and um, finally do the Culverin. Culverin is three versus the standing two. And they're able to also score one injury. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That leaves him with six health. The, the Devil of Avignon, six health. Well, we're going to activate the Devil of Avignon for sure. Uh, we will have him uh, go ahead and just try to do a stomp out on this exact area. We'll have our wolves come into the village and we'll have our, uh, let's have our last winged demon fighting. So um, our Devil will do a stomp onto this space. And let's see how he performs. And he gets the stomp. Let's see. Let's see if he gets the stomp. He gets an injure. So he manages to scatter all of these into the injury. But they are not taken off the board. So these are all injured. This is destroyed. And our devil has moved to here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, have our wolves also enter the city. They're going to attack um, the Culverin to stop it from pummeling our troops or our devil, as, a, as the case may be. So the wolves attack with yellow and white, yellow and white, yellow and white, and yellow and white. And they are able to send one damage to the Culverin. It looks like I forgot to roll our our uh, our final phase over there, but I'll, I'll get to it this round. So that's going to do it for our forces. Oh, we do have the Wing Demon. Wing Demon will attack. Flying Demon will attack the Mounted Bowman. Mounted Bowman have a black defense. And they are able to send the mounted bowmen also to the infirmary. And then we can clean up these activations. They're kind of piling up here. Activation, 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 activation. Uh, we also have the, actually the Inquisitor does have a power uh, that I think we haven't used yet. The Inquisitor is able to... Roll a black die, so the Inquisitor can roll a black die, and he does not, he's not able to remove their power tokens. So that's fine. Let's go through our, our um, casualty phase here. We get, um, uh, the Winged Demon stays wounded. These guys can actually, okay, let's roll this one. This goes into the waiting. These are able to rally from last round, so let's pull these over to here. And this over here as well. So we get these two winged demons here. Um, death to the winged demon, which is going to be points for our characters. Rally. Um, these guys just arrived, so let's move these to here. Culverin just arrived. Death to the uh, here. A uh, rally. For these guys, <coughs> uh, death to another wing demon, waiting for these guys, and the rest are here in the, in the here in the space. Okay, uh, that's about going to do it. We'll see you in round number five. Uh, but yeah, the devil's getting uh, hammered away at slowly. We've got the archangel on the board. 
Uh, yeah, looking forward to the next round. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.